Hi everyone! It's time to wine. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Nancy's Wine Diary. So I am so glad that you're here to join me. It means so much to me that you guys are able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. I hope you leave plenty of comments below, maybe some suggestions of a local winery that you know ships. I would love to maybe try them out as well. And I hope you give this video a thumbs up. So anyway, today we are doing a local winery to someone, not to me, but if you live near Omenia, Michigan, and I probably said that wrong, Omenia, Michigan, it might be up in the Upper Peninsula, but anyway, they have got some wineries up there, and I happened to pick this one. I was looking for another pumpkin wine to try this uh, fall, and some maybe some fall wines to do last month, and I didn't get to them all. But anyway, I got a pumpkin wine from them, some seasonal wines, and a winter wine to try. They have got a lot, a lot of wines to try. If you are into the sweet wines, they've got a ton of fresh fruit wines. They've got some Moscatos. They've got some sparkling wines. If you're into just the typical semi-dry and dry wines, they have that as well. I think they have something for everyone. Of course, they're open for tasting. They've got merchandise, whether you're looking for, if you like this wine and you want them a mug or something with their name on it or t-shirts or sweatshirts or hats, they've got all that. And the tasting room looks really nice if you are up in that area to stop in and just a ton of different wines to try. They also have some very reasonable wine clubs, um, which I know a lot of the wines when I go to different wineries and I want to check out their wine club so I can just maybe get something from them but they're all wicked expensive because you know maybe some of the wines they have are like $80 a bottle and yeah I can't do that but their wines like I said the fruit wines that I picked they were $7.99 the winter one was $6.99 when you get into the semi-dry and the the typical dry wines like you know your uh, Merlots and things like that it's going to be a little bit more money but just a lot of fun so they have got a couple of different wine clubs they didn't send me this little pamphlet here with my order that explains some of the clubs and we will just kind of open that up so they've got one two three four five different clubs so one is if you are loving the sweet wines they have got this sweet life club for you it comes with six bottles the average cost is fifty dollars and i think that's probably because maybe if they do it maybe they're going to have some specials or they might come with different flavors so it might be a little bit higher but the average cost will be fifty dollars plus your shipping then they have the high and dry club which is three bottles and that's going to be your typical the uh, semi dry and dry wines and that one's fifty dollars the on cloud wine club and this one is 12 bottles and it looks like it's going to be a mix. It looks like it's customizable and that one, the average cost would be a hundred dollars. Again, you do have to pay for shipping and then Peninsula Club Silver and Gold and the silver would be three bottles for the average cost of 50 and the gold would be six bottles for the average cost of 100. So again, something I might want to be interested later on because I do have a lot. I mean, there's uh, the wines that I like from different wineries that I've got from, but they maybe only have 12 wines. So to just get the same wines over and over in the club wasn't for me, but something that's got such a really nice variety. It looks like it would be fun. Also for my first order, they gave me this little card right here and I thought maybe it was a thank you card or something but it looks like it's just maybe a little note card so it's got the name on it Lee Leno and happy wine day and it's a it's a nice card stock so if you wanted to use it to jot down some notes or something so just a really fun little welcome for my first order from them so again I got four bottles on this one. I wanted to get the pumpkin wine. That's what we're going to open tonight. I've got a little mock 
Thanksgiving dinner that I did in the crock pot today. So I'm excited to try it. It's been cooking all day. I can't wait to get it out and check it out for you. Really, really simple to make and not a full Thanksgiving meal, but for one or the middle of the summer or something, you want to have it. It looks like it's a really fun recipe. So I got three fall wines from the Witches Brew. And again, they did give me that cute little sticker, Witches Brew. So that looked like it was really fun. But I got one that was for the Winter White. This one was $6.99. And it's got this pretty label here with the snow scene. And I thought maybe I would open this during the first snow of the season, which we already had. It melted, thank goodness, by noontime. It was a little too early for me to open up and celebrate winter, so we will put this away, and it has to snow at a decent time. Not like sometime after Thanksgiving, maybe, if it snows, I will open this. So again, this is Leela No White. It's got a really cute label right here. So it's a semi-sweet table wine. Again, this one was $6.99, so a nice way to try it. And then I got three of their fall wines. So one is the Spiced Apple, and this one looks really good. It's got a cute label here. Like I said, this would have been perfect to open up some of these wines last month. Uh, dressed up in costume, but didn't quite make it. So it's Spiced Apple. See, it's got the skeleton there with a green apple. And so for the apple, it says it's sweet, crisp apples coupled with cinnamon and brown sugar. Enjoy chilled or serve warm like a fresh baked apple pie out of the oven. It pairs perfectly with a cozy porch swing or a fall evening. Again, this one was $7.99 and it's 12.5% alcohol. I forgot what the, what is the winter white? Does it tell me what it is? The winter white is 12% alcohol. So next we had what they call the Witch's Brew, and this is a red wine blend. So again, a nice label, so it would have, would have been nice for a Halloween month, but we're still in fall, so it kind of falls into that category of fall. So, and again, this one was $7.99, and it is also 12.5% alcohol. So it says, a most popular wine for fall or winter, or pretty much any time of the year. It's mulled and layered in aromic celebration of traditional autumn spices. Try our distinctive red blend room temperature, warmed or devilishly hot. So that seems like a nice one to warm up, sit by a cozy fall campfire and have a nice sipping wine. Alrighty, so the one we are going to try tonight, the one I'm excited about as well, is pumpkin spice. So this, again, it's got a cute label here. We got a jack-o'-lantern and we got a ghost here. We got a witch's hat and pumpkin spice. And again, this one was $7.99 as well. This one's only 10% alcohol, so a little bit less. So it says pumpkin spice might just be the official beverage of fall. With sweet, tangy, traditional autumn spices, the aromas draw you into the glass with intoxicating notes of apple, ginger, and clove. Enjoy chilled or hot. So I probably should have looked at it first, but I did have this one chilled. The others are still room temperature. So we are going to have this with our dinner and dessert. So let me go get those out of the crock pot and I will be right back to share this with you. All right, so I'm back. I got my dinner out of the oven, got it plated, cut my dessert, piece of pie. And again, we're going to have the pumpkin spice wine from Lilano Cellars and Omina, Michigan. Alrighty, so because I've got teal on, I thought I would use my Robin with a Y wine glass with her teal and Swarovski jewelry. Pouring a little bit of this wine. It was just a twist off cap. And there's a wine. It's a nice kind of a light yellow color. Okay, let's try to swirl this around. Check it out. Mmm, it does smell nice. It's like the pumpkin spices. So, mmm, cinnamon and clove. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. Yeah. Um, you taste more cinnamon, I think, than anything else. More, more like cinnamon and apple. 
just going to look and make sure I open the right one. But it is the spices that you would put into the pumpkin pie, but I don't particularly taste pumpkin. But it's just like a nice, uh, like a spice cider, almost a spiced apple cider with the cinnamon and the cloves and the apple. So it is a good wine. Not really what I would call pumpkin, but it is a good wine. It would be a really nice fall wine. I'm going to have another sip and then show you my easy peasy dinner. Mm. Alrighty, that's a good wine. So I haven't made this in a while, so I probably may have left something out. But I just got a package of some chicken breast. I put them in my crock pot. Uh, I got a package of stovetop stuffing. I just got the traditional one. Poured that over it. I think I put in like maybe a cup of chicken broth. Um, let's see what else. A can of cream of chicken soup. And a half a cup of sour cream and put that in the crock pot and it cooked for about four hours my chicken just got so tender it fell apart and so of course it's got the the stuffing that kind of absorbed the cream of chicken soup and the chicken broth and the sour cream so the stuffing is really nice um you could have taken it out i just decided to shred it to kind of make it easy i like i said i mean if this was a real thanksgiving dinner i would have candied yams candied yams are my favorite vegetable in the world. I know not many people like them. I don't like the one that you cook with fresh yams and marshmallows. I like the frozen ones that you get that have the brown sugar, the cinnamon, butter. Love it. So anyway, I just got fresh carrots frozen. Um, I steamed them up and then I just kind of put them in the saucepan with some brown sugar, some maple syrup, and the butter. So I've got that and I got a package of rolls and then I just took one out to have so that I didn't overdo it on my bread. And for dessert, I have got a piece of pumpkin pie with a dollop of whipped cream. So let's check this out. Like I said, it's been cooking like four hours. So the chicken looks like it's, it's really, really tender. I mean, you, it was just so easy to shred. So I mean, imagine doing this with maybe like a barbecue sauce instead of like the stuffing and the stuff like that. That would be a really good barbecue chicken. All right, I'm going to have a bite. I didn't even put in any extra salt and pepper. Mmm. It's nice and moist. It's tender. It's like a really nice. So like I said, for one person or a small family, just to do in the middle of any day without having to get up at six in the morning and throw a turkey in the oven. Really nice. Some carrots here. <coughs> Sorry. My carrots here with the brown sugar and the maple syrup and butter. Mm. Not as good as candied yams, but it will do. And a little bun. Mmm. Perfect. And a little bit of wine. Cheers. Mm. Really nice, easy little Thanksgiving meal for one. Of course, if you liked cranberry sauce or something like that, you could always add that or any of your favorite vegetables. It would just make a really nice meal. Putting the chicken breast in the crock pot with those ingredients just cooked all by itself. You didn't have to worry about basting it. You didn't have to worry about it getting dry or overcooked. And a little bit of pie, which of course, if you were ready for coffee or something, pumpkin spice latte coffee, that pumpkin cinnamon roll latte, cappuccino, whatever it is I have. Love that. That would go good with this too. Or maybe even heating up that wine. Mm. so so good so again thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day with me it means so much to me thank you guys for sharing dinner and a couple of sips of wine and again if you've got any suggestions any local wineries that you go to you have a favorite wine maybe i can have something shipped to me like these other companies ship and other than that, um, I just would love to read your comments. Um, I know I'm really, really slow at responding. Hopefully this month will kind of slow down a little bit. I tried to squeeze a lot in last month. 
didn't quite get everything I wanted to do in there, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Had so much fun chit-chatting with you guys in the comments. You guys are amazing. So thank you so much. So I hope everyone goes out and enjoys the rest of the week. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. And love you guys so much. And we will see you in the next video.